this is not a new product. Uh, Menza Baranza box set, second edition, is something, it came out in 1992, and it was something that I always wanted when I was young. Um, I, 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 I love Ari Salvatore, I love his books. Uh, they've had such a huge impact on my life. Uh, what we're talking about, just now I was talking about like how, how uh, media has influenced us as kids. Yep. And I think, although I love role playing at the time, love D&D, I think the Dark Elf trilogy was the first set of books where it just uh, touched me on a personal level. It, it, um, I could relate to him so much. Uh, I mean, I, I grew up in the Bronx um, during that time and, and Mensa Baranza to me felt like the Bronx. You know, it just, you just couldn't trust anybody. Everyone's willing to take advantage of you, backstab you and everything. The blood magic, it was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All the fireballs. <laughs> um, no, so, I feel you on that though, because I same thing when I read that those uh, uh, that exact same trilogy, same like hard relation and like you don't expect it, and then but you're feeling it the entire time. But yeah. I know how hyped you are about this, so I will let you. Yeah. Know. <laughs> so uh, recently, uh, Dash Entertainment in Worcester, and I'll give them a shout out. Um, had a bunch of old uh, box sets, and I saw this, and I like, oh, I gotta get this. I always wanted it as a kid. Uh, either they were sold out, or uh, it's just too expensive for me at the time. Uh, so I'm gonna open this up. This is. Was it's been opened once by someone else. This is a used product, uh, but uh, they did it was in great condition and they uh, brought it back. It looks to the it. store. I wouldn't even know that it's used. Yeah, <laughs> the only reason I know is because you told me. Yeah, so yeah, let's open this up. Let's see what's in <laughs> I'm it. Not I, you do it. Now, I, you I, get the honors now, of this one, man. <laughs> now I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm I'm hyped about this. I am worried that this is gonna I'm gonna be let down. And like it's I'm hoping for. Um, Actually, I'm not sure what I'm hoping for. I guess I'm just, I'm just want to get, I just want to feel that magic I felt when I first um, uh, and, and read what the it, books. And I, the, just out of curiosity, I'm, I don't know what exactly is in here. I know it looks like it's D and D related, but it also looks like it's book related. Is it books or D and D or both? Well, one is that I believe it's books and maps. Now, at at the time, uh, there wasn't much draw material. It was just the books, and then whatever they talked about draw in the Forgotten Realms stuff and. Um, and the monster, well, monster manual. Although back then it was called okay. the Monster Compendium, if I remember correctly. Back when they um, had uh, three ring binders for. Oh my god! Yeah, this is old stuff. <laughs> you know, so um, yeah. Again, I'm. It's. I'm, I'm excited to open this up. You know, I'm. Uh, can't wait to see what's in here. Let's. All right, so let's see what's in here. I'm seeing okay. books. All right, so you get uh, Menzo Baranza book, the book to the houses. So you can learn about all that dark elf history. Yeah. Book one, the city. I assume this has all the okay um, explanation of what you'll see in the city. Wow, wow does this? <laughs> this is from the fall winter catalog of 1992. Wow. Someone kept everything, and I, appre I appreciate that person, because I also do that. <laughs> what is this? Uh, Genie Multiplayer Games. This is old school computer games. Wow. <laughs> Castle Quest. Dragon's Gate. Games I've never heard of before. A customer response card. We should send it in and tell them how we think of the reviews, <laughs> see if they're still accepting. Uh, TSR. All right, book three has a, an adventure. Oh, now this is what I wanted to see. The <laughs> see, books, you probably could find them on PDF somewhere, but the maps. Ooh, right. and some artwork, too. Yeah. All right, so let's see what this is. We're going to make some room here. Ooh, nice and wow. big. And, uh, yep, I got it. Wow, that is, that is gorgeous. Uh, that is it's, some, a, it's a poster. Wow, okay. Some big artwork. We got symbol of Loth, because, you know, if we're going to worship somebody, it's going to be our giant spider mommy. <laughs> All right. I want to be very careful. Wow. All right. Yes. I think this is our city map, so I will open that after we check that out. Ooh, yep, here are all the maps. That's so, Menzo Baranza was the city where Drizzy grew up in. And that's the house, uh, oh, see, I'm, hopefully I'm saying this right, Banray? Banray? I think it's Banray, yeah. 
Not sure. We're bad at pronouncing these because ourselves were made them unpronounceable. It's his own fault. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We still love you. You've made amazing stuff. But boy, those names. <laughs> wow. Yep, and so here's some of the maps, and I'm, I'm now with you on the excitement for the maps, to be honest. Oh, I love maps. It, uh, a well-done map, it just, especially if you bring it to a table, it just brings so much excitement to, the, to everyone. All right, so this is the map of the houses. What is it? Oh, where they're located in the city, I guess? I'm assuming these are the... Oh, it's the top 12 or top 10 houses. I believe it's the top 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it's the uh, top houses of the city. All right. the, the ones in charge. Okay. But I, I also wouldn't know. Uh, we have this guy, West Wall. If you want to, wow! I didn't have that one to open. Wow! Oh, so these all combined. This makes one giant. Map. What? <laughs> oh, gosh! This is West Wall, South, North, East, West. So, yep, this is this portion here. Uh, yeah, we need like all the other pieces. Oh. <laughs> wow. Okay. And I... So, one, two, and three. All four of these together make one giant map. <laughs> uh, okay. Lenzo Berenzen. We're gonna we'll put that together in a bit. <laughs> all right. What else is in there? Uh, some interesting stuff. So, retrospective on the House Dorun, Dorun Den. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, probably That's... more info specifically about the family history. I would assume. Maybe even about himself. So collected essays from Drizzt on the back. I don't know. Yeah, if... it's based on his notes. Uh, interesting. Okay. Oh, some surface dwelling PCs. So if people want to play, oh, we got some mini maps. Oh God. Jesus. So these go together. These two specifically, I think, go together in some form, either that okay. or they're both separate maps. I think that's sort of like the 3D representation of this. So if you want to go underneath or on top of the different dimensions. That's really, that's interesting. Usually you don't see the oh, like... No. Battle Maze 1 and Battle Maze 2. They are separate maps. I'm just an idiot. <laughs> that's interesting how the, they have the maps and then they have the explanation behind it. Usually you see it separate. It might be this is your example and then you make it yourself and then you, oh, then okay. you have this to Oh, keep I see. Of. Okay. Uh, then there seems to be... One more dwelling of some sort. Okay. I'm not an expert with this stuff. Again, I read the books. It's been a while. House Militor. Oh, so pre-gen characters. Oh, so that's what this amazing artwork is for. So all of these are pre-gen characters. There you are if you want to look at those. I think this is just... Okay, let's take some... a look. All right. That's Macarius Militor. Interesting. We've got a bunch of NPCs here, which is kind of great. Marcelia Militor. I love that artwork, actually. That actually looks really good. They're all signed. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I, maybe not personally, but still. No. That's why I thought you read like, what? <laughs> Quartus Militor. You go through here, you find R.A. Salvador's signature on some of this. Major Mother Key Willis Militor. Interesting. So this is probably, this is not obviously the main house that we see a lot yeah. of, but they could be some interesting characters. Does it say NPC or are you allowed to PC? No, these pre are... Pre-generated right. player characters. Yep. Oh, so, okay. so if you want to play a house. Play one in, inside. Yeah. Oh, that's very interesting. Uh, I, I, I'm i enjoying a lot of that. How, what are you thinking so far? Oh, I'm really happy with this. <laughs> this is great. Oh, man. I wish I wish I could uh, put this back in the box, um, mail it to my younger self, and he will have a blast with this. Um... I'm I'm happy to do something with this now. Uh, did um, you want to try to put together the um, the map, make the big giant map? Yeah, that's four pieces. I don't know if we're gonna be able let's, to let's do that, all that. Let's save that at the end. Okay.
So if you did want to play, you would have your option from four different types of humans, because, you know, humans just own the world. Nope, five different, four different types of humans, a halfling fighter thief, or an elven fighter mage. Hmm. So some versatility, not a lot of versatility, but some versatility. <laughs> but also I think we're very spoiled nowadays hmm. between what's official and what's homebrew that like we're like, oh, five races. How dare they not have 17 races in mind when they made this thing originally? Yeah. So how I feel about this, I, I think it's fantastic. I mean, there's so much information here. Um, it doesn't matter if it's second edition. You yeah. can just look. If you play long enough, you can look at the stats and then just kind of update it for fifth yep. edition. Um, I I want to set I want to do an adventure just on what's based on here. Um, yeah, I'm I'm really happy with this. I, I I have to say, you know, it's funny. We've done um a few on uh, unboxings already yeah. of different uh, adventures, and I have to say this. Maybe I'm being biased because <laughs> I love Drow, but um, I'm like. Compared to what I buy nowadays, I'm really happy with the content. I got tons of maps. Yep. I got posters. Uh, I got three heavy books to look through. Uh, plus uh, uh, a lot of supplement material. Yeah, you know, plus featuring the characters. Um, this is great. I'm I'm very happy with this. This is something I keep forever. Yeah, and, and again, like something that, especially because it is from an older edition. Like this stuff came out probably around when those books. Yep. Or, or like, like in like within that, a decade of yeah. that, so it's very much those early thoughts, which is like you can be like reading this, you're getting that real life, that realistic view of what he specifically as a character was thinking, and that's great to get that much in a mindset of a character that's how old now? How old is this character at this point? <sighs> wow, nine ninety two, so like at least almost thirty years old, over thirty years old probably at this point. Oh, this the books? Wow, I got I have to <laughs> I have to go and find. Let's see if I yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, I'm trying to think like when I first got the books, and that was like, oh man, my early teens, middle teens. Oh so, yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. yeah. So like the fact that this stuff is still, like you like reading this means that you know the character that is currently going through whatever the current journey. I'm sorry, I don't still buy your books. There's too many of them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> whatever his current journey is with whoever he's with like you can see this and be like that was his original mindset that's how he felt about the other houses how he felt about friendship that's how he felt about his family and that that's that's awesome i think <laughs> yeah, it'd be interesting to compare how um D D did drows back then and kind of look at material now see what's changed you know uh especially with like houses and and i'm just curious to see what what's changed between uh, materials since then. That would be great to actually do like a comparison to, of at some point. If we, I'm sure we could find find some like newer drow material. I'm sure yeah. there's some official stuff that we could find and just even just like a quick search comparison between the two. That'd be fun. We yeah. should do that. <laughs> Excellent. So yeah, um, unfortunately you can only find these uh, maybe on eBay. Unfortunately you can only find this on eBay um, if you're lucky or at a at a at a comic book store where I found this. Um, but, uh, yeah, let us know what you think. Um, how, do you remember the first time you started reading these adventures? Um, what do you think of them? Uh, what do you think of the books now? Let us know in the comments below. And, um, yeah, have a great yeah. day. See ya.